Hey Naturalistas, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be making this rosemary and aloe vera juice hair rinse and leave-in conditioner. And I will also be showing you the two different ways that I apply this to my hair. All right, so to get this DIY project going, you're gonna want to bring two cups of water to a boil. And once it's come to a boil, you can grab about three to four sprigs of fresh rosemary. Allow the rosemary to steep and simmer in a covered pot for about three to five minutes. And once that's done cooking, you wanna remove it from the heat and allow it to cool completely. While the rosemary water is cooling, we can move on to the next step. We're gonna take a whole entire chilled aloe vera leaf. I let this sit in my refrigerator. In this video, it looks like I'm only using that one little piece right there, but I actually wound up using the whole entire leaf. So we're just gonna cut off those spiny edges with a nice sharp knife, and you can see all this awesome jelly gooey goodness on the inside. And then you're just gonna cut the leaf in half and I think this is just so cool. Like, nature is awesome, guys. <laughs> but anyway, after that, I like to use an ice cream scoop to get all of that good aloe vera gel out of the leaf because unlike using a knife, you won't run the risk of cutting the skin and getting it mixed up in with the gel. So we're just gonna do this to the whole entire leaf, getting all of that gel goodness together. But as you can see, it's a solid and we want aloe vera juice. So in order to get the juice, we're just gonna throw all of those chunks into a blender and blend it up. You just wanna allow this to blend until you have a more watery consistency like you see here. I like to do the added step of using a nut milk bag. You can use a cheesecloth or a pantyhose, just something that will allow you to strain this aloe vera juice into something that's a little bit more refined. I find that if you don't do this, it's still rather thick. And since I'll be putting this into a spray bottle, I want this to be as thin of a liquid as possible. And this will also help to eliminate any chunks that are left in the gel like you're seeing here. And after that, a whole leaf gave me about three fourths of a cup of aloe vera juice. At this point, my rosemary water was completely cooled. As you can see, the rosemary does turn the water brown. That's completely normal. But now, here comes the fun part. We get to mix these two ingredients together, and I'm using a whisk to do this just to ensure that they're thoroughly blended together. And as you can see, it still has that gel-like consistency from the aloe vera juice. And I like to pour it into a small bottle. This is gonna be my spray bottle. Obviously, all of it will not fit into that, and that's for good reason. This is gonna be for my leave-in conditioner. I'm just gonna add a cap onto that and keep that in my fridge at all times. And then I'm adding a lid to the jar that is airtight. You want to keep this refrigerated as well. Okay, so as promised, I'm going to show you how I use this as a hair rinse. So before I use it as a hair rinse, I always shampoo and I also condition my hair. To condition my hair, I always let it sit in my hair for like at least five minutes. I wash my body, wash my face and all that good stuff while my hair has the conditioner on and I have a shower cap on. That's like a major, major key. This is because the heat you'd naturally generate with the shower cap on will allow the conditioner to penetrate a little bit more deeply. After I rinse out my conditioner, I go in with my hair rinse. Rosemary happens to be one of the most beneficial herbs for your hair. It contains your solic acid, which helps to increase circulation in the scalp and promotes hair growth. It revitalizes your hair, removes buildup, and it also helps your hair to look shiny and soft. It has antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory, and antiseptic properties and can help treat dandruff, itchiness, and scalp irritation. Aloe vera juice contains proteolytic enzymes which help to get rid of dead skin cells clogging hair follicles. It's alkaline so it balances the pH of your hair which promotes healthy hair. Its vitamins and minerals strengthen hair strands and adds luster and it also gives hair elasticity and prevents breakage. In this next step, I'll be showing you how to use the rosemary and aloe vera juice as a leave-in conditioner. You just wanna take it out of your fridge, give it a nice little shake, and then spray it into your hair, just enough to dampen it a little bit. It doesn't have to be soaking. It definitely shouldn't be dripping. That would be a sign that you're using entirely too much. But after your hair is damp, you can just go ahead and just massage it all over your scalp just to make sure all of your hair strands are thoroughly coated. And now I'm going in with my hair growth and dry scalp serum, and I'm applying this to my edges. I hadn't done this 
before, but I'm gonna see if I can thicken my edges up just a little bit. I'm gonna massage this in as well, and my hair is looking like this. If you saw my other video, you know that I'm obsessed with Shea Moisture's Frizz Free Mousse right now, so this is part of my daily routine. I'm using this just to define my curls. It not only defines my curls, but it also leaves them super soft and moisturized, and so I really love, love, love this product. <laughs> So while I'm here, I might as well just close this video out. I can say that my hair is super, super moisturized. As you can see, it has that healthy shine to it. It feels silky, silky soft. One of the reasons that I am putting so much effort into making sure my short hair is healthy and moisturized is because I'm on a growth journey. If you haven't been following me, you wouldn't know that. But that's one of the main reasons that I'm going through so many different steps and ensuring that I'm using products that are going to maintain the health of my hair. When you think about it, if you're on a growth journey and you currently have super short hair, the little bit of hair you have right now are going to be your ends later. So once you have your six inches of hair at the end of your year of growth, those are going to be your ends. And how you treat them right now is going to determine whether or not those ends are healthy or they're split, dried, and frayed, and crusty, and dusty looking, you know? So you want to make sure that you're keeping your hair healthy, that you create a routine. I currently do have a routine. I do this exact wash day um, every Wednesday and Sunday as of right now. Sometimes I miss days and have to like push it back, but just as a general rule of thumb, I'm trying to wash my hair and cleanse my scalp twice a week. That's the end of the video. If you're not subscribed, well, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button right now and make sure you stay tuned for my next video. Bye.